Hey guys, today I'm going to do a walkthrough of all of my RC cars and also all of the upgrades that I've done on each one. Um, I'm also going to go through the batteries that I use um, and uh, everything like that, the tools that I have. Uh, I've been requested to do this um, a few times. Uh, I think it will be interesting. So yeah, I have three um, different RC cars as you can see. Um, the Slash on the left, the X-Max in the middle, and the Stampede on the right. So I'm just going to do uh, a walkthrough of each car um, and then tell you the upgrades that I have on that car. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first we have uh, my favorite RC car that I've ever had. It is my Traxxas X-Max 8S. Um, it is huge. Um, it's my favorite that I've ever had. It's as you can see, I, I got went with the green. Uh, that's probably one of my my favorite color. Um, so yeah, let's look inside. Uh, the clipless body system is one of my favorite parts about it. Um, so I haven't done any upgrades to the electronics or to the gearing of this uh, X Max. Um, but the first upgrade that I did do on it, which was soon after I got it. Uh, which I got it about a year and a half, maybe a little longer than that ago, but I've had it for a while now. Um, but the first upgrade I did, as you can see here, are these green heavy-duty suspension arms, which I got for both the top and the bottom, front and rear. Um, and there's it was really for style. I mean, I, I don't bash my cars that hard. Um, I definitely don't expect to break anything like a suspension arm, especially on the X-Max, as beefy as it is. Um, I haven't, well, I have broken uh, one of my RC cars before. I'll get to that in another video, actually. Um, stay tuned, because I'm going to post a video on my previous cars that I've owned. But, yeah, I don't expect to break anything. So all these upgrades are really just for cosmetics. Um, but, yeah, the second thing that I've upgraded is these. Um, the tow links for the steering are aluminum. And this was actually pretty expensive, but I think they're pretty cool. As you can see, I'm trying to go for this kind of blue-green as the body has, like this blue-green on it. So like green with a slight touch of blue. Um, and yeah, these are pretty cool. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that the standard X-Max or the X-Max comes standard with plastic ones. I mean, I've never heard of them breaking and they definitely didn't break for me, so I guess it's fine, but I think this is a cool upgrade to do. And speaking of that, let me just get to the future upgrades uh, with the green and blue thing. I have these, um, these shock retainers here, or the spring retainers, rather, um, that will replace these plastic ones. They're blue anodized, um, and they will replace the, the plastic ones that are right here. Um, another upgrade that I've done is this hot racing gear cover over here. Uh, it's pretty minimal. It's kind of hard to see, to be honest. But it's pretty cool. Blue aluminum, too. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. Also, um, another upgrade that I made to this car in general was this, the Traxxas Link, um, which is awesome. I love to use the app because it can tell you stuff like speed. I mean, it might not be the most... Uh, accurate stuff, but it can say speed and temperature and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I, I just thought that would be a nice upgrade. It was $40, so it wasn't that expensive. Um, this is the remote. It's the TQI transmitter. Um, that comes with all of their uh, brushless models, I believe. So that's it for the X-Max. Now we'll get to the next car that I have. So my next car here, as you can see, is my Traxxas Slash 4x4 Ultimate. Um, this is not the first Slash I had. I love the Slash. Um, it's not my favorite car. My favorite is the X-Max, like I said before. Um, but it's a great car. I, I love to drive it. Um, so I'm going to take the top off now, which I'll do off camera because it actually takes a while. So there we go. Um... Like, these body clips are really a pain, especially compared to how easy the X-Max is. But here you can see, um, let me just flip it around. Um, I've done qu 
quite a bit of upgrades to this. And on top of that, it's already an ultimate, which means it comes with a lot of aluminum upgrades as standard. Um, but just to summarize it real quick, it's the VXL 3S, so it runs the 3S batteries. Um, and then a few things that just come with it, um, because it's an ultimate edition, are these blue shocks. Um, the upgraded shocks with the upgraded shafts. It also has, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it comes with uh, blue axle carriers and then caster blocks as well as the steering blocks in here. Um, blue aluminum ones, you can kind of see right in there. Um, it also comes with these cool wheels and these blue aluminum uh, hexes for the to keep the wheels on. So the first um, or the biggest upgrade that it's kind of you can see right here is this big chassis brace. Um, I think that looks really cool. Um, big blue aluminum chassis brace. Uh, another upgrade that I did is these um, cambers, uh, camber bars right here. Um, I've done them front and rear. And uh, I think, yeah, these are adjustable. Um, the normal one actually did come with uh, metal, like you can see right here. Uh, very similar to that, but I, I just think the blue looks better. Uh, a future upgrade that I'm going to do, I am going to get the um, the steering links, or the tow links rather, um, done in or the blue aluminum versions. And that will probably be one of the final uh, upgrades that I do to this car. Um, another upgrade, as you can see right here, is a Valenian fan on top of the ESC. But it just keeps the ESC cool, uh, which is pretty cool. And then finally, something that I recommend all people with slashes do is put some kind of tape. I just have clear tape on here. Um, but as you can see, I was a little late. The body rubs against these, um, like, things that hold the body, like, there while, the, while it's on the car. And it, it like rubs the paint away. So as you can see from the outside, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like holes right there in the paint because the body rubs. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but I think the clear tape solves that issue. Um, yeah. Also, you can see the aluminum drive shaft in there. That is standard. Um, that comes with the, the slash four by four. Um, so yeah, that's my slash. Oh, it also has these sway bars that come standard on the slash 4x4 Ultimate. Hey guys, this is me from the future. Um, I just realized that I forgot uh, one of the upgrades that I've done to this car, and that is the uh, blue aluminum wheel hubs. Um, I'll post a, a picture of what they look like uh, when right when this clip ends. Uh, but yeah, back to the video. Um, yeah, that's my slash, and next is the Stampede. Okay, so my final RC car, as you can see right here, is my Stampede 4x4. This is not brushless, and as you can see, it has a custom body. And the reason for that is I built this. It was actually the Stampede 4x4 kit um, that I got, and there's my I posted an unboxing video of this on YouTube, um, as probably a lot of my viewers know. Um, I also posted an unboxing video of the Slash, by the way. Um, so if you want to see either of those, they're on my channel. Um, so yeah, this is just a standard Stampede 4x4, except like I said, I built it myself, which is actually really fun. I recommend doing that um, if you think you're capable. And trust me, you don't have to uh, like be very good at this type of stuff. I'm not, and it really wasn't that hard. Um, so we take the dub body off and you can see that it's not a brushless uh, system. This uh, ESC can take up to a 2S LiPo, but I run it on a NIM battery, uh, nickel metal hydrate. Um, I'll show you the batteries that I use for my cars in a second. Um, but as you can see, it has all the standard uh, electronics. Um, the one upgrade that I've done so far on this car is these blue aluminum um, caps for the shocks. I actually got them for my Slash, and I didn't realize that they didn't fit those uh, upgraded shocks that the Slash comes with, so I just put them on here. They look pretty good. Um, another upgrade that I'm planning to do is, uh, second, is these, uh, this uh, blue aluminum drive shaft that I'm just going to put in the center there. Um, I just have to buy another part for it because it doesn't fit perfectly, but I think that's going to be a cool upgrade. The one that it comes with is plastic. I don't know if you can see it in there. 
Uh, yeah, though, it's just a pretty uh, standard stampede. Um, this is the car that I use the most roughly to bash and stuff like that. As you've seen in some of my videos, I've done like bigger jumps with it. Because, I mean, if it breaks, I'll just fix it. It's not really a big deal. It's not worth as much as the other cars. Um, and it's not as pretty, frankly. <laughs> Even though I do think I, I do like the paint job that I did with this. But yeah, now I'll get them back together and show you the batteries that I use and also the other equipment that I have uh, that just makes uh, having RCs a lot easier. All right, so to end this video off, um, here are my batteries and my charger and just a few other tools and things that I use. So first of all, my charger, it's the standard Easy Peak, not the live one, because I don't have any 4S batteries, as you can see on the table. Um, it charges two batteries at a time, although mine is very old. It's actually the oldest thing that I own um, for any RC uh, type thing. And it only works one battery at a time, so I have to deal with that. Uh, I'll probably get a new charger soon and, and do an unboxing video of that and just kind of show it off. Uh, but for now, this one works fine. It just takes a little bit longer because I have to charge my batteries one at a time. Um, but that's worked like a champ. Next, I have my power cell battery that I use for my Stampede. Uh, it's a 3000 milliamp uh, and it has the hump right here because um, that's what fits with the Stampede. Uh, this was a relatively cheap battery. Um, I chose to get this instead of a 2S LiPo because it's just cheaper and, and I don't think the performance is that much different with a LiPo um, in, in a uh, brushed setup. Um, so next I have my two 5000 milliamp uh, 3S LiPos. These are the standard size. These aren't the shorter pack that are taller because that's what fits in the X-Max and the Slash. Um, I got these originally for my X-Max and obviously they fit perfectly in the Slash. Um, I don't run the 8S batteries because they were just really expensive and you'd have to get the charger for that. Um, I found that these give, especially for how big the X-Max is, I mean if you're running that big of a thing on uh, 50 miles per hour or whatever it's supposed to go, I mean, you would need like five acres of land, to be honest. So this is plenty for me um, and where I run my cars. Um, yeah, they work great. And next I have this, and this is absolutely imperative. So important if you have uh, Traxxas LiPo batteries or any LiPo batteries, to be honest. Um, uh, this is a LiPo cell checker. So you plug this in uh, with this, and then you plug this end into uh, the batteries. And you can see what your cells are at make sure they're healthy or make sure they're charged if you're about to use them or make sure they're balanced if you're about to store them it's so useful i never have to worry about if my batteries are doing well or not doing well i can just check on them and it's very easy to use um finally i have my traxxas toolkit this is a very standard toolkit but yeah i mean it's just a simple toolkit it has some uh uh wrenches in there and then the standard tools as you can see I've used them for the uh the stampede build but yeah pretty simple I also have a bag of tools that are mainly things that I've gotten with the RC cars you can see that the big x-max wheel wrench in there and just a few other uh wrenches and and tools in there that I don't really use that much unless I'm taking the wheels off and stuff but yeah that's a tour a full tour of my collection and all the upgrades that I've done on my RC cars Please let me know if you enjoyed this type of content in the comments. I, I do read all the comments and respond to them. Uh, let me know if you enjoy this or if you just enjoy me running my cars outside. Um, I, like I said before, I do think I'm going to make a video, kind of just uh, a short video explaining all the, the RC cars that I have had in the past um, and the, the RC boats that I've had in the past um, and my experiences with those. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.